thing wedged behind my back teeth. I see the trouble. It's stuck. Look, let me just... <coughs> ah, that's it. Thank goodness for that. Phew. What are they up to now? That's all the seeds planted. They should be up in a couple of months. Yes, dear. You'll be lucky, mate. They'll be up in a couple of minutes. If that lot up there get at them. Well, maybe I didn't catch any. I certainly scared them off. You won't see them around for a while. <laughs> it's at times like this that I wish I could fly. those apples to fall down to earth. There's probably a scientific theory to explain it, I suppose. All I know is, it gives me the pip. Mmm. <coughs> that could be useful. This could be the stepladder to success. My big chance to catch a bird. I thought this would be a good place. When I'm up here, they're down there. embarrassing for both of us. I think my best plan is to lie doggo. I've got a nasty feeling I'm out on a limb again. What's the matter with him? He fell out of the tree into the goldfish pond. Fell out? I was sabotaged. Poor Fred, he's all cold and wet. I'll give him a brisk rub down with a rough towel. That means her hair dryer is broken again. I think after that, I'll settle down to watch TV. Ah, huh. fun with our feathered friends. Oh, no. There's just no escape from the little perishers. from outer space. Good morning. Uh, I am the dishy dog food hound. 
if you have two tins of dishy dog food in your larder, we have a bonus. What will all those advertising people think of next? Good day, madam. So pleased you like our product. Why does she get the money? I'm the one who eats the stuff. Time to get on the launching pad. That was rather good, wasn't it? <laughs> nice doggy. New postman's really got style. New postman! Nice to hear them singing again, in springs on its way. The trees are turning green, primroses are up, and the garden gnomes are coming out. Oops! What a pity. They're broken. Ah, well, accidents will happen. Now, I put my tasty bone down here somewhere. anything around these days without somebody moving it. Fred, look what you've done to the lawn. Get back in the house. Well, that's enough exercise for today. I'll just rest here a while. <laughs> that's the silliest dream I've had for ages. I dreamed a crazy bird flew in through the window, landed on a chair, in... <laughs> on his electric blanket. Mm. Must be a fancy dress party somewhere. <sighs> they say that every dog must have his day. And I've had this one, mate. Jock, late as usual. He's been so stuck up lately, honestly. You'd think he'd won the world championship instead of best of breed in our local show. And he was the only entrant. Hope that rosette hasn't gone to his head. Anyway, let's get down to serious business. Fooling. Brilliant. Straight through the man's legs, step to the side, a quick swerve, and he's away with the sausages. I think I've overtrained him. I don't believe it. 
selfish little so-and-so. What about your manager's cut, lad? That settles it. I'll have to find a new partner. I wonder if Bruce is the answer. in with a nature lover. I wonder how this little fellow will make out. about a few sausages when he has a shop full of the things. Can't think why I have so much trouble. After all, we have an account. I think such a bad-tempered man. And he has the nerve to call himself our friendly neighborhood butcher. I'm at the end of my tether. I'll have to go back into partnership with Jock. It's either that or a lifetime of miserable scraps. Jock's become quite civil, although I still call him Champ. Oh, well done, Champ. First class decoy, Jock. Let's see now. A nice leg of lamb. Some mince, perhaps. How about a couple of nice pork chops? The beauty of this little scheme is its sheer simplicity. There you are, lad. You can have them both. <laughs> One gets so much pleasure out of giving. Chinese restaurant. Now what's this thing? The little fella looks as if he's under arrest. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. A stranger. The nerve. I'll show him. Trespassing on my pitch. Stand and fight, you coward. <laughs> I never thought he would. <laughs> it's not that I'm frightened. Jock, you always expect me to rush out whenever you appear. I'm eating. Keepers, burnt toast, sponge cake, bacon, rind. Yeah, forget it. Okay, Jock, I'm on my way. We've been having a bit of trouble with a bulldog lately. <laughs> oh, it's Fifi. Jock is crazy about Fifi. <laughs> Poor chap. He doesn't stand a chance. Fifi is sweet on someone else and, uh, Kesu. 
poor Chuck. He knows he has a rival, but he doesn't know who. Thank goodness. <laughs> no, Chuck, it can't be him. His hobby is eating. <laughs> Nor him. He was 14 last birthday. No, no. Are you out of your mind? That's the chief constable's dog. No, no, not again. Some chaps are so aggressive. to die. He's attacking the bulldog. Get the man for himself. Shamed up, running from a bulldog. Even if it's a miniature French one. Now then, Jock, what you need is complete relaxation. Look into my eyes. You are going to sleep, Jock. You are going to sleep. Sleep. I didn't know I had such hypnotic powers. Now I've just got time to keep my date with Fifi. begins to get warm and I could be spending the evenings visiting Fifi, I have to suffer their holiday plans. Oh, darling, what a lovely place for our holiday this year. There's sailing and golf. <laughs> and a swimming pool. And golf. And our very own balcony. And golf. Every year it's the same. Now, going on holiday is not for yours truly. But what's the alternative? One of those boarding kennels. Terrible places. But my folks would never do that to me. They know how I would pine. Holidays should be banned, especially going abroad. And it's the fault of those glossy brochures. <laughs> Greece, Portugal, Italy, Crete, Morocco, Spain, Corsica, Mallorca. You, friend, should travel more. Why not drop in on Mallorca? A job well done. Well, we must stop the milk and the papers, and then it's Spain. Here we come. And, of course, drop Fred in at the boarding kennels. Boarding kennels? Never! 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 He won't like it. No, he won't. Oh, he'll settle down. Oh, no, he won't. Mm, perhaps, well, though that day he spent there before, he, he was difficult. I was difficult? I tried to escape. He tried to escape? Oh, Fred will be all right. Sure I will. I'm going on holiday with him. All packed and ready to go. Not quite. Um, Gone to find Fred and take him to the K-E-N-N-E-L-S. Uh, Fred! Uh, walkies! Uh, Fred, 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 Fred! Walkies! Fred! Can't hear a thing. <laughs> Nobody would be so cruel as to put a deaf dog in kennels. Out of it! 
take very good care of him, won't you? He's terribly sensitive. Well, goodbye, Fred. Goodbye, Fred. Poor things. I'm afraid they may pine. I have now been on my best behavior for goodness knows how long. No leash for me in the exercise yard. <laughs> I'm a trusty. Nevertheless. Freedom. Freedom. Freedom! A little bit of initiative and there's no knowing where one may end up. In solitary one misses one's own armchair and home cooking. Hello, Fred. No. Hello, Fred. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Fred boy. Oh, Fred. <laughs> Steady boy now. Steady. <laughs> I knew they'd be pleased to see me again. <laughs> Just helping them to unpack. <laughs> it's lovely to be home again. thing this morning, a black cat crossed my pond. <laughs> then I managed to find last week's bone, after only five attempts. How could all those dear little birds twittering away? Twittering with fury they are. Lucky old me found their cake worms. Oh, go and dig yourself some worms. Bone idle they are. I bet they've forgotten how. You do it with your beaks. Peck, peck, peck. Like this. Remember? Fred! Come on, Fred, we're going shopping. How's that for lucky? Eh? A walk. Come in, come in. Silly old boy, you don't need your lead. I'm taking you in the car. This is where my luck runs out. You wait there, Fred, just while I get the car out of the garage. It's going to be a long, long wait. First, she's got to find the starter. No. No. Yes! Now it's clutch pedal down, shift gear lever, foot off clutch, accelerate and crash. Has backed into the lawnmower. Now uses naughty words. Now trying again, start up, clutch, first gear, clutch, accelerate, forward and scrape. A scraped deep freeze cabinet. I did warn you. At any minute now, a pathetic cry for help. Darling! Darling! I seem to have got the car a bit stuck. Coming, dear. Now where? What the? <laughs> Off at last. This is going to be a really airy trip. Now what? No, oh, traffic lights. Why, that's the Colonel in his rolls. With Yorkie sitting in the back. Hello, Yorkie. Yorkie. Cooey. Pa! Sitting there like a lord. Pretending he can't see me. Perhaps he can't. Get your hair cut, you mangy car. song and dance act. The car behind is objecting. Golly, it's the Colonel. Fred, over there is the pet shop where we bought you. Keep your eyes on the road, woman. Look, over there, Fred. You've given the I am turning right signal. Oh, you were so cute. You stood up on your hind legs and I just had to pat your head. That's the I am slowing down signal. 
colonel's going to overtake me. Pedigree Yorkie, too. Well, so far, so good. We've reached the shops and are safely parked with two wheels on the pavement. Whoops, I've had enough. I'm walking back home. Well, got home first. Wonder when she'll be back. She's back. Watch out. See what I mean? <laughs> well, now, there I was showing you how not to do it. <laughs> Never mind, dear, you weren't too bad. For a beginner, that is. So, don't despair. Why, one day you might become so good you could, well, even beat me. And on that day, I'll buy you, um, yes, I'll buy you a fur coat. I heard that. I'm a witness. A pint of bitter and a sherry, please, miss. Miss, miss, he's very formal tonight. He usually calls a ducky when he's on his own. <laughs> Beat me at golf, I said, and you won yourself a fur coat. <laughs> See that tree? This is where discretion is the better part of valor. With a slice like his, he should never play on this course. No, oh dear, not the beach. Lost ball, I presume. <laughs> Lost ball, number two. Number three. That's four thundering balls lost. Well, they're not really lost. We know where they are. Oh, no. Very quick pipe then, and I promised to wife I wouldn't be long. Promised to what? I'm surprised that you, dominated by your wife. Now I shall return home just when I like. I'm master of my house. And so he is tonight. She's gone away for a week. She's been away five days. Five days of endless can opening. Doggy dins for me, and TV snacks for him. And then at night, all those beer cans at his poker parties. And uh, she says, her sick aunt's a little better, Fred. Sick aunt, my foot. Wonder what she's really doing. This book on learning to play golf is absolutely marvellous. She's home! <laughs> Why, hello, Fred. Well, how did you manage without me? Oh, all right. All right. All right. Ran out of dishes yesterday. Well, folks, it's a lovely day on the golf course, and we are watching the needle match between him and her. Now watch her concentration as she addresses the ball. Oh, beautiful shot. Undismayed, he is playing his famous tree shot. It never fails. The 18 and all square. <laughs> Darling, I just won little me a fur coat. But I, I, I was only joking, dear. <laughs> joking I was. <laughs> It was a joke. And the joke's on her. <laughs> mm. 
I know you're in there. Come out with your hands up. <laughs> Never happens like that in the movies. Ah, the whistle. Must be knocking off time. <whistles> but what can I knock off? Come on, Fred. Dinner time. Fred, come for a walk. Fred, dinner. Fred, walk. Ah, there's a good boy then. <laughs> Get the old lead on now. <laughs> then I can test the new whistle. He means his ultrasonic whistle that humans can't hear, but dogs can. It works very well, even at this range. I shall go and see what Jock's up to. Oh, Fred, come in and wait. Jock's still having his dinner. Oh, might as well be comfortable. After all, he's a slow eater. Just picks at his food. I guess I expect. Oh, look at it now. Cold, wet and windy. You can always depend on the weather forecast. They said it would be warm, dry and sunny. Oh, 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 oh. oh you're ready. Well, it stopped raining at least. After all, it's all right for Jock with his shaggy coat. But I'm the soft, silky type. Here comes old Cassius. Friendliest dog in the district. Always ready for a joke. Always fooling. Oh, no! It's not Cassius. Run for it, Chuck. What's the trouble with the boxes? They all look alike. Chuck. Chuck. Oh, damn, look. Poor, brave little Chuck. Oh, it must be all over. I can't stand its goddess. Fred? Fred? Now, where is that dog? You hear that? Where is that dog? Not where's good old Fred? Come here. None of you. Here, boy, good boy. Come on, Fred. Here, I say. Here. I must have done something to upset him. You're a very naughty dog. I've been calling you for ages. He's not really angry, you know. You deserve a good beating. His apparent anger is simply a cloak for his anxiety. I thought you were stuck down a rabbit hole or something. He's a warrior. Look at you. Covered in mud. Right. Come and get cleaned up. Suits me. What I had in mind was a nice warm bath with some of my shampoo in it. Come on, Fred, let's get you dry. Just hope her hair dryer hasn't broken down again. I can't stand that rough towel. <sighs> well, that feels better. Oh, an open box of chocolates. Peppermint creams. Not one of my favorites. I can take them or leave them. I'll take them. Delicious. Lovely fire. Big armchair. And what, may I ask, is wrong with a dog's life? Dear? Terrible. No need to shout. 
out of the way, you. I was getting under people's feet. You don't want a drink, do you? I think I will have one for once. <laughs> that shook him. Walk, Fred? Love to. <laughs> Duped. <laughs> what does he put in that thing? Yuck. Pipe smoke and frying kippers. I'm off into the garden for some fresh air. Ah, oh, laid this one down in 71. A good year. I like this new hall carpet, but it does tend to show the dirt. What your dog's done to the carpet. My dog? He's our dog. Except when I dig in his garden, then I'm her dog. <laughs> Fred, we're going for a drive. Me too. Oh, all right. In you get. I'm tired. You drive, dear. I've changed my mind. I'll have a quiet evening at home. Fearless Fred. <laughs> Fred? Well, how was I to know you'd forgotten your keys? Bad. I wonder if he means it. Bad! He means it. I wonder if they've forgiven me yet. What's on? Must be good. I'll join you. Right. Bedtime. Oh, I'll never get to sleep. Giant spiders taking over the world, destroying everything in their path. I wish they wouldn't put on those films last thing at night. Oh, they've left the door open. I like. Back to bed. It's that sparrow. Little Perish has brought his whole choir. Get out of it! What? And now, get back to bed. That sparrow certainly started something. Crikey, seven o'clock. You'd better get up or you'll miss the train. Get out, Fred. Oh, it's Saturday. All right, but you'll be sorry. Oh, for goodness sake, who's that? That's her mother. He was supposed to meet her train an hour ago. I've seen in years is buried in the Jones's garden. Unfortunately, hmm, they're out for the day. Now, four paces south from the oak tree. Yeah. I overheard their Doberman burying it. Right, lad, get on with it, and I'll keep watch. Best little digger in the business. Look at the power in those stubby little legs. Marvellous. No doubt about it. If you want a good job done, call in an expert. There it is. 1971 vintage. <laughs> Fancy two grown dogs fighting. 
disgraceful. Better take this away for safekeeping. Hey, Dad, look at that beagle carrying a bone. Beagle? That's not beagle. He's a bloodhound. Bloodhound? Oh, the biggest Daxon I've ever seen in my life. That child's got an ignorant father. Only one way to cross this street. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Vicar. Have a sweet, Fred. I don't mind if I do. End it over. anywhere. Next door, that's the answer. Hey, you! Get out of my gun! Now that's a useful looking hole. Save this for you. <laughs> nice to do a good turn for someone. 